Uh oh. Good morning from Hollywood. Happenings at the Hollywood Hour this morning. We're walking down Sunset Strip and we're heading towards the Rainbow Road. Let's find out a little bit of the history of the Rainbow Road. The legacy of the Rainbow Bar and Grill in West Hollywood. Uh, the Rainbow Bar and Grill, located in the heart of the Sunset Strip, has been a rock and roll institution for decades. Now, the Rainbow Room um, Bar and Grill opened first on April 16th of 1972. Uh, the restaurant was founded by Elmer Valentine, Lou Adler, and Royal Magetti, and opened with a party held by Elton John, who had made an American debut on at the Troubadour two years earlier, before becoming the Rainbow, the structure in several incarnations. It was a lonely club during the 1930s and the Bill and Melvin was from 1944 right until 1968. This is where Marilyn Monroe went on a blind date with Joe DiMaggio. Now the Bill and Melvin was owned by Alan Dale and film director Vincent Minnelli who proposed to Judy Garland there. Now a lot of people believe that the Rainbow Room was actually named after Judy Garland because of her Over the Rainbow, but in fact this is a, not a true. It was during the early 1970s the Royal Rainbow signified peace and freedom, so that's how it received the name, but it's still an homage to Judy Garland. Now during the 70s and 80s, there were at least uh, 300 people in the parking lot every single night. It was a second home to Lemmy Klimsker, a motorhead who passed away in 2015. Lemmy loved the Rainbow Room so much that he moved to West Hollywood to be closer to it. In the last two decades of his life, he was a daily picture at the Rainbow, where the band was not on tour. When the band wasn't on tour, and he was often seen playing at the bar's video poker machines following a successful crowdfunding campaign and months of anticipation of a memorial statue in his honor was unveiled in 2016 at his favorite hangout on the back patio. Now, in 2017, the owner, Mario Magali, also known as the King of the Sunset Strip, died at the age of 93, but he was still holding court on the patio until the very end. Today, the Rainbow Bar and Grill is run by Mario's son, Mikel, and his grandsons, McKay Jr., who had the idea for the Lemmy statue. Now the Rainbow Room became a, as legend as a hangout for the rock musicians and their groupies during the 1970s. The notable regulars uh, during this period included Alice Cooper, Keith Moon, Mickey Dolenz, Ringo Starr, John Lennon, and Harry Nielsen. Uh, they referred to themselves as the Hollywood Vampires and they made the Rainbow Room their, the Rainbow Room their home away from home. Everyone from Neil Diamond to Elvis Presley could be seen at the Rainbow Room. Now, Los Angeles musician Warren Zevon referenced picking up a girl at the Rainbow Room in the last verse of his 1976 song, Poor Pitiful Me. The track Rainbow Bar and Grill from the Cheek and Chong album, Let's Make a New Dope Deal, takes place inside an eccentric producer, Kim Foley, formed the all-girl group band, The Runaways, in the parking lot. Guns N' Roses from part of the November Rain music video here. And the musical trends on the sunset strict toward heavy metal in the 1980s, but the rainbow followed suit and was mentioned songs in such as Sunset and Babylon by the Wasp and the Vampire by L.A. Guns. This is the C.C. DeVille of the Poison and Motley Crue ruled the place and their photos still adorn the walls, celebrating the unforgettable years at the Rainbow Room. Hollywood says, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button and leave a comment. For more, Hollywood says, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button.